Is the MiG-23 ML still the most viable option for grinding the Russian air tree? Now, with the recent nerf to the aircraft, especially the radar nerf, it's felt more or less maybe not as the best <coughs> premium you could ever really buy. It used to be like the go-to premium. People would tell you to always get this plane and you still should, you know, can get it. It's a very capable aircraft. I personally thought it was going to be a lot worse after reading what the nerf was and I haven't really used it since nerf until I made this video and I was actually a little bit pleasantly surprised. It's still not as good as how it used to be but it with the BR, you know, compression or decompression or whichever, they've, you know, adding with adding 13.0, this plane doesn't really see down tiers, but it doesn't see up tiers either. I never really had to experience too many games where I had the F-15s or F-16s or even, you know, the F-14B to deal with. At most, it was the F-14A and a large majority of players were in F-4S Phantoms due to the sale. And yeah, you can check out my video I made about the Phantom if you'd like the you know mig 23 is one of those aircraft that i think kind of plays a lot like not doesn't play a lot like the f-20 but falls in the same suit as the f-20 it might not be the best starting premium for you but if you've said already done a nation maybe it's a perfect plane for you it plays pretty decently if you know what you're doing i just don't think it's a good starting aircraft so I thought about it for a bit. I think that it really comes down to five premiums if you want to, you know, pick up a premium for the Russian air grind. Number one, obviously, being the MiG-23 ML. You, you are still, I still think it could be, it's still a very good grinder. Do not get me wrong. You'll still be able to get to top tier Russian air with this premium aircraft. It just might be a little bit more headache inducing and maybe not, it's not as... It's not as, uh, well, that's the word I'm thinking of. It's not reliable. It's absolutely not reliable. In the making of this video, you're only seeing two good games I had. You're not seeing the five other games that I only got a kill and got immediately killed. That's not grinding. Grinding is being able to take an aircraft and effectively get RP, which I unfortunately can <laughs> cannot do with the MiG-23. So another option you have is the Su-25K. Now, this used to be the go-to grinder for Russia. It still is pretty good. It's, it gets bad talk because it's slow, and it gets outclassed by things like the F5C, which, I mean, it does. That is true. But it is still a pretty good grinding aircraft. You have that. You also have another, you know, high-ish-ish BR premium. That is the MiG-21 SR-13300. Now, this plane gets a lot of bad talk because it's, like I said, or I haven't said, but it's a 9-7 aircraft with no countermeasures. Something like the Su-25K, A-10, or A-6, all having 30G missiles, just outdo it. The next aircraft that is actually something you could buy as a grinder is the MiG-15 Bish-ish. Now, sitting at 8.0, this aircraft's pretty good, and it also really shines in ground realistic battles. So you could pick it up to play ground RB, you could pick it up to help grind Russian air, um, another another good premium aircraft, and this one will teach you a lot because it's a gun-only fighter, is the Su-11. Sitting at 7.3, good guns, good turn time. Um, often gets confused with the Tech Tree and much worse version, the Su-9. But it is a really good grinder. Definitely something you could look at to use to grind Russia. Now, back onto the topic of the MiG-23 ML. Is it still a viable option to buy this aircraft for $70 and use it as a grinder. Well, in short hind, no. It's a good grinder, but if you're looking to grind the nation for the first time ever, and you're new to the game, you can either either grind by just buying a premium time, or buying a lower BR premium aircraft that might teach you more, or even the Su-25K. Now, does that mean you should never get this aircraft? No. When it's on sale for $35, it's a hell of a steal. I would actually say wait for a sale almost always wait for a sale for a premium and buy it then if you're gonna if your mindset on this the plane is just not reliable enough i could not reliably get rp post nerf and that is what makes an aircraft a good grinder same reason why the f4s is maybe not the best grinder in the american tech tree you cannot reliably get rp 
and something like something like the Su-11 or MiG-15 Bish-ish or even the uh, MiG-21 S. I feel like that's just a more reliable way of getting RP. If you haven't already, make sure to hit this like button and subscribe. We're getting really close to 1K. I hope you enjoyed the video. Discord will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.